By default, the DD Wizard will have one HVAC system listed under Airside System Types. To edit this system, simply click the button Edit Selected System or double click on HVA System 1. It's important to give the system an appropriate name, especially when having multiple systems. So, to give the system a new name, simply delete its current name. In this case, we'll call it Upper Office. Then, users must select a cooling and heating source. These selections interactively determine other field sets. For instance, the available system types change dynamically when changing the cooling or heating source. So, if we change this to chilled water coils, we can see that the system types change dynamically with that value. In this case, we're going to leave it at DX coils for now. When looking at system types, if a system type remains unavailable, consider the possibility of selecting a different source. System type selection determines the systems per area and the return air path defaults. The options of system per zone, system per floor, per shell, or per site are available.